Folks, novel new tech is allowing users to control negative voices in their head. The virtual reality therapy system is being trialled in Australia, and as our science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports, it's already changed lives. A simple stroll down the street could trigger a wave of stress for Anne Rasmussen. I was hearing a lot of voices uh, inside my head all about how I would never be loved. Regular therapy didn't work, so her grandma suggested this. And I was like, how is a computer program going to help me? Hekka VR is not your typical computer program. It's virtual reality-based software where users, guided by a therapist, create an avatar that resembles the voice in their head, down to the colour and shape of their facial hair and the tone of their voice. It's a normal day today, but the sun is shining. And we then use that in therapy to role play. So it gives us an opportunity to kind of test out different strategies of how we might respond to the voice and voices. Made in Denmark for those suffering from schizophrenia and other conditions which prompt hallucinations, it allows users to directly confront the voices torturing them. You're useless. Leave me alone. Give me a break. It's estimated as many as 200,000 Australians suffer from schizophrenia and many more are affected by hallucinations. Up to one in ten will hear a voice at some point in their life and that for a small group of those people, those do unfortunately become distressing and persistent experiences. Swinburne University is seeking volunteers to trial this system. Details can be found at voicestherapy.com. A successful trial could lead to a wider rollout and give more people peace of mind. Well, it's kind of a miracle <laughs> that you suddenly just get to be the one in charge of your own head. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.